On April 21st, 2023, at 3.11 p.m. local time, a change occurred at the highly active Piton de la Fornes volcano, which had not produced an eruption since October of 2022. A seismic crisis had begun as a rapid intrusion of magma was most likely moving towards the surface, generating earthquakes along the way. However, this sudden and sustained increase of shallow earthquakes did not occur alongside an abundance of ground deformation, as if a volcanic eruption was about to occur, you would expect the ground overlying the eventual eruption site to be pushed upwards by several centimeters at a minimum. However, only 69 minutes after the seismic crisis began, it ended. Only two minor earthquakes occurred after the cessation of activity, yet this volcano is still at a raised alert level. The reason for this is that generally speaking, Piton de la Fornes does not produce these strong earthquake swarms unless an eruption is about to occur in the short to midterm future, meaning on the order of several hours to a few weeks in advance. This is best showcased via a seismic crisis on December 4, 2020, which led to an eruption three days later, or a seismic crisis on September 7, 2022, which was followed by another crisis and eruption 12 days later. Of course, not all of these seismic crises result in an eventual eruption, as they can occur in isolation. Yet, because of the sudden event, the Piton de la Fornes volcano has a decent chance of producing a volcanic eruption at some point in the next two weeks, aka by May 4th, although such an eruption is not guaranteed. Thus, on my 0 to 10 opinion based volcanic unrest scale, I am placing Piton de la Fornes at an 8. For context, Piton de la Fornes is the easternmost of two volcanoes located on the French island of Réunion, with this entire island having a population of around 850,000 and being 750 kilometers east of the eastern coast of Madagascar. The westernmost Piton de Neige volcano is about 3 million years in age, is dormant, possibly even extinct, and has not erupted for 12,000 years. Piton de la Fornes, on the other hand, is the younger of the two, having been erupting at a high rate for around 500,000 years, being a large volume shield volcano. It is the youngest expression of the Reunion hotspot, which once created the Dakan Traps flood basalts around the same time of the mass extinction of the non avian dinosaurs 66 million years ago, and has since tracked to the southwest, now being located underneath the Piton de la Fornes volcano. This volcano contains a series of steep ravines which represent the oldest of three collapse scars where the ancient volcano slid to the east in massive landslides. These collapse scars formed 250,000 years ago, 65,000 years ago, and most recently in 2700 BCE. Since then, the latest cone of the shield volcano with an 1170 meter wide summit crater has grown within the collapse scar with eruptive products being primarily funneled to the east, which is best shown via this diagram of 1931 to 2019 lava flows which largely resulted from Hawaiian to Strombolian type eruptions. It is quite rare for lava flows to occur via flink center cones on rift zones outside of the caldera, but this has occurred 13 times in the last 2000 years, of which 11 occurred in the last 200 years. Flank eruptions are the most potentially worrying, as people do not live within the caldera, but they do live on its edges just to the north and south of it. Luckily, only about 6% of eruptions migrate to the flank of Piton de la Fornes, and if an eruption was to occur from this volcano in the next two weeks, it does not currently appear likely that a flank eruption would happen. Instead, ground deformation sensors seemingly suggest that an eruption might occur in a 1.3 square kilometer region just to the east of the central crater, but then again, we cannot predict where it will erupt next with this being merely a guess. Typical eruptions last anywhere from a few days to several months and generally do not produce lava flows that travel longer than 5 kilometers. Such a small eruption, perhaps on the same order of magnitude to the September to October 2022 eruption of this volcano, with its lava flows being outlined on screen, might be expected if an eruption was to occur. Thus, I would not worry too much about the next eruption of this volcano, at least for now. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.